In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace a window regulator on an F-150. To remove the window crank handle, you need a plastic trim tool, and you're going to, it's a double case, and there's an outside casing that clicks over the top, so you got to try to grab it and push it out like that. And in the center is a T20, that's a Torx head. You need to take that little screw out. Place that aside. We have one Phillips head screw here and one inside this handle. I'm going to take the internal door handle off, 8 millimeter socket or 5 16 You'll feel the head of a nut right there. And we're going to take this off so that we can lift this panel straight up. Now all along the side are little push pins. We're just going to pop it out. I like to put the lock all the way down. And lift straight up. Now I'm going to remove the speaker. It looks like it has four mounting screws with a Phillips head on it. Disconnect the speaker, pull back on this tab. Now I'm going to remove the insulation plastic. This little foam piece is glued to it, so you can leave it on there if you want. We're just going to pull this slightly off all the way around. So you need to drill out these three mounting rivets for the window regulator. So I've got a drill and I'm going to start drilling them out. And before we cut the rivets out of the regulator, we're going to support the glass from falling down on the channel. I'm going to just use painter's tape. So now I'm going to take a cold chisel and I'm just going to try to snap these off. If you do have a whizzer blade in air line, you can also try to cut these off. It is faster, but most people have just a cold chisel. All right, so now that we got the rivets out, you've got a channel right here, and you're gonna slide this window regulator so that the, this plastic piece will come out of the guide that's in that glass. So now that the regulator is out of the glass channel, I'm just gonna remove this one bolt here. It holds the glass channel that goes down, and it's an 11 millimeter or a 7 16 socket. That way that aluminum piece that holds the glass channel into place can move aside so we can get that regulator past it and not the big opening. Now that we have the bolt out of that channel, I'm gonna take the tape off because I have to slide the glass down, then pull the glass out, and that channel will have some flex to it. You're gonna have to bring it all the way down, past the channel, to the bottom. Now that the glass is all the way at the bottom, we're going to take out this side channel. And the reason I waited till I dropped it down in, now the glass is on the bottom and it wouldn't slide down and shatter. 
This is an 11 millimeter socket or a 7 16. Now we can slide this channel out of the glass. Now you can bring it up, pull it right up. So now I'm gonna show you if you have what we call a cutting wheel, how to take the rivets off without a drill. I like to put an X in them right in the center. Now with your chisel and a hammer, Now you know why the glass is out. Now we have the freedom to take this window regular right out. Still have to guide it down below that channel. So now we're going to put our window regulator back in. Pretty much reverse procedure. You can bring it down below that window guide and up. We're just going to let it sit there until I get the glass to put the glass back in. So you can use white lithium grease. I am using a universal grease, just a mat inside here so that that slide track We'll let that window go up and down easily. Now I'm going to slide it back in. Now I can easily guide it into this outer track here because that one is still out. Now we can grab our window regulator. that pivot right in there, like so. And I'm gonna guide this window all the way up and then I'll retape it up there. Now I have my first rivet hole lined up with the regulator. Put the new rivet in. And I'm holding it in place and I'm gonna get my window crank. I'm going to crank that till these two holes line up. There's one and two. Make sure it went through. Yep. Now I'm going to put in this window channel guide before I put in the armrest bracket. Quick note, do you see these lines right here? This lip is going to go on the outside of the other steel channel and this is going to go on the outside. So only the rubber seal will be on this piece. So now that that window guide is in, it's not quite in this channel because you have to take the window and bring it down. It's attached to the window regulator so we can undo our tape. And we can crank the window down. Just be careful that it doesn't fall that way. Once it gets down to a certain point, you'll be able to see now from up here where that metal channel guide has to go in. So now you can get the glass down, you can re-pull the seal out so you can see this channel and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. This has to go up in. You might have to get a screwdriver or something 
to help you get that to go right there, just like that. Now you can line up the bolt hole down here. So then you roll the window back up and it pushes that seal back in. And now you have the freedom to move this around, get your mounting bolt, start it and tighten it up. That's an 11 millimeter socket. Try to line up the additional, the old marks where it was and then snug it. Now we can take our hand, push that seal in the rest of the way. Now to confirm all is good, we're going to crank that window up and down a couple of times. So now we can install our bracket, put a top rivet in. Now we can pull up our plastic insulation. Let's see if we can get it to stick. If you can't, I'm gonna use tape anyways. We use the tape that I use for the window. Let's put that speaker back in. Got to reach down there and find the wire. There it is. Line up the prongs until it clicks. Okay. Now I'm going to put that little insulation full piece on the window crank. And I'm gonna get my door panel. So I like to take the lock tab and pull it all the way up. And now with that door handle out of the way, it's so much easier just to place it straight down and not have to manipulate around that. So we can just line that lock up, just like that. Feel the pins, snap them in, all the way around. And get our mounting screws. I'm gonna put the door handle screw in first. That's a Phillips head. I'm gonna put the upper. This is a long screw. Now I'm gonna get my window crank. This has the Torx head, the T20. Make sure you have all the parts. You gotta put that little plastic piece right on there. And I like to line the crank up the way it should be when the window's closed. I like to use this guide right here. You want that line lined up. Get the T20, put that screw right in. Let's snug it down. Then I'll take the outer casing and it snaps right back into place. So when you feel in there, that flat piece of metal has that cutout notch on it. So you're gonna try to line it up. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.